So, like I said in my Obi-Wan video, there's a lot in The Phantom Menace, and actually in the trilogy, the prequel trilogy, that there's, like, there's a lot to basically unearth. There's a lot of characters that need to be shown the light of day, and I think one of those characters is Padme Amidala, who is, I think, deserved so much better than what she got. And so, I just wanted to kind of talk about, especially in the first one, I'm gonna go with the first one with this like I did with Toby one video um she was kind of a badass and I don't say that lightly the reason why I say that is she was 14 years old in the events of the Phantom Menace and I know people are like oh was she really 14 yeah she was because if you check the book and the wiki page and other sources she was 14 years old um, which makes the whole Anakin Padme thing a lot better. They're both children. Okay, so how the whole, like, um, politics on Naboo works is they, they're family. So they're a little, I don't know, they're just each, like, the Amidala family. They kind of ran, like, okay, it's gonna be difficult to explain. So each family is represented on Naboo, and the just before the events of the Phantom Menace, the Amidala family won, and their face, like the face of their um, house, was Padme Amidala, was Queen Amidala. So she was the face of the um, of the political house of Amidala. So she won, and they call her Queen because you know if they were gonna have a boy, they call him King. Girl, basic stuff. So she is 14 years old. She's ruling an entire planet. Our entire citizen people I, I believe it's the entire planet and she has an attack an entire blockade is cutting her off from everything until she signs a treaty which is terrifying as a 14 year old you're put in charge of an entire planet species people and you have to make a decision so first of all she puts her foot down and says a line that is up behind me that she will not condone a course of action that leads to war so what does she have to do with happenstance two jedi knights help her out and she never once like faints or or swoons or something like that she is she's standing on her own two feet she has to make with what she has so she switch places with one of her handmaidens because that's the whole course that they have to do like these handmaids are trained they are young women who are trained to fight kill um, protect their queen at whatever cost so she switches places with one of them and she just she does what she can she does what she can to protect her people and that makes her one of the best characters i think in the star wars universe because she just she doesn't take a second glance at anything she's just like yep these are my people, I gotta do what I gotta do. And so she goes up to um, the Galactic Senate, I was like the council, the Galactic Senate, and she basically says these seemingly kind, the Trade Federation is was seemingly like a, a nice, like they were very, like, they weren't really heavy in war politics, they were just, what do you think a trade federation is? The other people are like, oh, trade federation is nice. Why would you accuse them of something like that? And then she's like, no, my people are dying. They're put into concentration camps. And then she basically says, we need a new chancellor. And just calls them out in front of everyone in the Galactic Senate, which is a huge ballsy move from her. Yeah, I think she is one of the most underrated characters. And I think it's because in, you know, what happens in episode three, which I'll get to a later video, but basically what happens in episode three which i will clarify because there's a lot of things that people people take at face value but it's not true so yeah she's not appreciated and that makes me really sad because she was a great character so yeah that's about it i have for today about padme for now um just think she's a badass and she should be appreciated more but other than that um thank you guys for watching 
I posted something on my Patreon this past week and hopefully you guys will go over and read it. I'll put the link down below. Um, I'm going to do or start a series about what I write on Patreon, kind of give it a more, you know, new medium to it, a little more depth in what I write. So stay tuned for that. Um, there's an excerpt on, I wrote a chapter and there's an excerpt on the chapter and if you want to read the chapter you can become a patron and all that and so please go over and support an artist in need. Um, also if you like this video press like, press like, press the like button, um, subscribe of course if you want to see more videos. I do videos like this, um, I'll also be doing other videos about film um, and hopefully in the future these new videos about my writing which are kind of be vlogs so yeah definitely anything about film or writing so this is the channel for you but yeah um, all my socials are down below if you want to follow me thanks guys Bye.